My name is Amanda Dushless from the laboratory of Dr. Paul Vrana at the University of California, Irvine. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the procedure of artificial insemination. This entails extracting the sperm from the male and then taking that sperm and, and putting it into an ovulating female. The reason you might want to do this is because the male and female may not mate at the time of which you need or they may not mate at all. Again, this can also be used with frozen sperm if a mouse line is very important. This procedure is very important to see demonstrated because a lot of manuals and journals do not show the proper procedure for handling the mouse. The mouse can be handled and injected with one person without using any anesthetic on the female. This entails that the female is not injured in any way and ensures that the fertilization can take the best possible route. The dissecting tools that we'll use are two sets of sharp forceps and one pair of sharp scissors. These will be used to isolate the best deference all the way through the testes and the fat bed. Once that's done, we'll be using the forceps to isolate the epididymis. 9% milk is used to shuttle the sperm into the female. It is made up of 1x PBS and powdered milk found from your local grocery store. This is put into a small petri dish in an isolated fashion so that the sperm is in a localized area. 18 gauge needles are used to slice the epididymis open so that the sperm can swim out in the 9% milk solution of the petri dish. Once that is achieved and confluencies found, the sperm in 9% milk solution are taken.